Matt Lenehan Boxing and Social in association with Empire Fight Store. We're here, Sam Jones. Sam, a lot of things going on for your fighters. We've just seen a press conference for Prize Fighter finally underway. Mark Dickinson in that. I know you favour him to win this and blast through every one of them. But you've also got a lot of fighters on this card, the Tyler Denny undercard. Just give us a quick run through. It's a busy time for you. Yeah, Mark Dickinson on the 15th of July in Osaka in, in Japan. Um, in, a, in a wonderful opportunity, really, for Mark. It's huge money. The, uh, the prize, it's prize fight, there's a key in that word there, prize fight, it's unbelievable amount of money, but it's also where it takes the career of Mark Dickinson, so I think it'll really give lift off to his career, but we back him to win, so really looking forward to that. Who's the other one on that card who you say, you know what, that'll be who Mark fights in the final, Maybe can you Aaron see McKenna. it? Maybe Aaron McKenna, I, 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 I don't know, it's hard to say. Kieran Conway's got a lot of experience, so it's ah, maybe, maybe Kieran Conway. It's, it's, a, it's a hard one, but I just want um, the best to end up in the, the two best to win the final yeah. and have it out for the, for the main prize. The undercard on Tyler Denny, Felix Cash, yeah. um, Hamza Udin, um, brilliant spot to him this week, um, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Ali, um, Cameron Vaughan. Yes. Um, a real sort of the new crop coming through that you get to see from the very start, not someone you took on like halfway through the career. You must be buzzing for tomorrow night. Yeah, I, I am buzzing because I think that I'm not just being biased. I do genuinely believe I have the best young stable in Great Britain. I do believe that. I think I'm mine rivals and especially I've got a few additions as well coming. I, 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 it rivals anybody's. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I've got young Muhammad Ali in a tough little fight, to be fair to him. He's got a very game opponent um, coming. Um, I've got Hamzuddin kicking off the, the live broadcast and you've got Cameron, I think, um, just before Crocker against Conor Walker. So, yeah, in a, in a really hard fight against Jeff Afori. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you, I think Cameron, he probably would have been forgiven training for Jordan Flynn for how long, then all of a sudden just taking a fight. But for the people on the boxing scene, they know Jeff Afori is no mug and if you're not at it, it can make you look silly. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is Hamza's opponent here. He's like three divisions above Hamza, so yeah. yeah, look, he's massive, massive compared to Hamza. Yeah, he's a big lad, but he is going to get, I mean, I don't want to say it too loud, but he is going to get knocked out on Saturday. Yeah. He is. Well, look, a lot of things in and around happening in boxing. News last night came out. Ryan Garcia has received a one-year ban from the New, New York Athletic State Commission, and Devin Haney's record is now undefeated again. It's been changed to a, a no contest. Talk me through your thoughts on that. It's been handled pretty quickly. Yeah, it's been handled very quickly and very diligently, but it's because Ryan Garcia has obviously cooperated and just accepted the ban and took a deal, paid his fine. He's, at, he's, at, he's got a 10-month ban, really, because it's going to be backdated, so he's going to have a 10-month ban. It, 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 you, you wait that long to fight. It's not really a ban, really, is it? So it's a... Uh, yeah, I'm sure Devin Haney's going to vacate his belt, and I'm sure the next fight they're going to be in is against each other. What do you make of how it's been... How it's happened because obviously drugs in boxing sport obviously we, we hear yeah, about how rife is but it's good that it's been yes, happened quick been dealt with quickly and i suppose that side of it's been really good um unfortunately devon Ain, i know he's had his, his record wiped clean but the, the footage is still there do you know what i mean so like you you you, you can be 31 and 0 but whatever he is but we're all we all saw what happened i know this and ryan's obviously got australian or whatever it's called in his yeah. system so who you probably maybe give him the benefit of the doubt, but ultimately, I, I just think Devin that's, that's going to have took a lot out of Devin Haney. In terms of the ban, these fighters, when you're at that top level, like you mentioned, the Ryan Garcia who's not struggling for a penny, he ain't fighting five times a year, yeah. he'll fight one or two. Is a one year ban, although it's been handed quickly, for something which is a serious know. thing, is it? Is that fair or else? Or is everyone who's at that top level who can afford to take a ban just whatever will just take a ban kind of thing uh, it's, uh, you're asking the wrong person honestly like because do you ban someone for 10 years 20 years do you, life. Ban, do you ban them for life I, I don't really I'm not I don't really know I, th I think that there's got to be a a more of a, a punishment whether it's financial or like as if you say to somebody if you get if you pop dirty you will be fined 10 million no one's going to take drugs are they yeah. well you think not but it seems like there's obviously, everyone seems to be getting caught the last sort of 18 months yeah. and is it well, more what's really happening like to these people? I, d I don't know, Matt. It's like what I say, I, I can't say the right answer because if I say something, oh, why is he only saying three years or why is he only saying four years? Oh, it no, it's just your, life. It's just it your opinion. It should be life. I don't know. I just think there should be harsher punishments. Yeah. Well, look, it's um, a lot of big fights coming up. Um, Javonte Davis, we haven't spoke about that. What yeah. did you make of his performance? I spoke to Hamza Odin and his words. It. I've still not watched it. I've still only watched the clip of Javonta Davis um, um, but yeah he's, he's, he's one of the faces of boxing isn't he yeah.
would you like to see him and Vasily Lomachenko? I spoke to Hamza Udin and he said, I'm the next Javonte Davis. I love Hamza Udin. Yeah. Hamza Udin's going to be... The next Javonte Davis? He's going to be a world star, Hamza Udin, let me tell you. But no, I, I, I don't really want to see Javonte Davis against Lomachenko, no. Why? Lomas prove he's still... He's still got a bit. I know it was against the Cambosas that's think, been beaten. I just think you're catching him at the right time. I want to see Javante Davis against Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great fight as well. Prime versus Prime. Stop trying to get Loma at the at the back. Like Javante the Tank. I love Tank. I'm a huge Tank fan. I want him to see him fight Shakur. Let's talk about Jack Cattrall. Um the main man, the headliner, um, terrific performance against um, Josh Taylor last time. I'm sure you can't tell us everything that's happening in the background, but I spoke to Eddie Hearn just then and he says, look, the idea is we'd love to put Jack in that new arena in Manchester. I mean, what a statement that'd be. He's riding this wave, active, a lot of big fights out there for him. We're talking about Liam Paro, I think he's busy, um, but there's names like uh, Arenas Progre who's out there. Um, there's so many big fights out there. Just what can you tell us and, yeah, what can you tell us? I can't tell you much, but... As you saw from Jack's post last night on Twitter, X, whatever you fucking call it nowadays, fight news dropping very, very soon. Maybe, maybe even on Saturday. What happened with the Barbosa talk? It was a lot of back Barbosa and forth over Twitter. Twitter. Well, Barbosa wants too much money. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to say you. Listen, I like Barbosa, to be fair. He's got a young family, so you don't, he wants to try and. Maximize. Maximize it. So I don't want to slag Barbosa, but it's very easy to say, I want to fight him. I want to fight him. And when it comes to it, to negotiate in a fight, you quadruple your worth. It, it, quadruple? It's, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he did no, that, no. but it's, it, he asked, But I'm saying if you ask for four times the amount of what you're worth, or double, or three times the amount, the fight's not going to happen. So it doesn't make sense financially. Any other signings you've got coming? I know yes. you've got um, the likes of uh, Adam Hamed, who you've just um, touched base with. He's out I've very got soon. Three coming. Yeah, every time I keep speaking to you, like, oh, it's a manageable amount that you keep adding another couple. Why is it just because you keep seeing the opportunity? No, because I work very hard. I work very hard, and I look after, and I'll look after all the, all the fighters that I have. But I just think that it's hard to turn down some some great talents. But a couple of the ones, uh, phenomenal talents. Yeah. Yes. Just turned over, or people who've been in the game a while. I'm trying to get it out of me, Matthew. Um, you will see very soon. Any other news or what else you want to talk about before we go? No, not really, mate. Just. Um, I'm blessed to be in this position. I've got a wonderful stable of fighters and I'm enjoying every second of being in boxing at the moment. Right, I actually have got something to ask you. Um, Lewis Crocker, Connor Walker. Okay. Not going to tell you the winner. It's over in six rounds. And I tell you this one, the, the main event, that's over in six rounds as well. I hope so, it's going to be entertaining if it is. Sam Jones, look, um, appreciate your time. Thanks for always giving us uh, some of it. I know everyone wants to speak to you and we'll catch up soon. Thank you, bro.